Hi, my name's Brad Webb. I've been with Oracle for 12 years. I'm one of the bowmen here, and uh, I was the bowman on USA 17 when we won the America's Cup in 2010. One of the first things you learn on your first day of sailing is the fact that you cannot sail into the wind. But uh, what we do is we trim the sails on to a point where we can sail as close to the wind or where the wind is coming from as possible. And that tends to be about 45 degrees to the angle of where the wind's coming from. The sail has a shape to it very much like an aircraft wing. What we're doing that is in a vertical sense. So we have a, a more or less a wing or a sail in the vertical plane and that's what's giving us lift to drive forward. But we're not just dealing with air, we're also dealing with water. So what you'll see on sailing boats is they'll have a daggerboard or a keel that goes into the water, and that's counteracting the effect of the drag and the side force on the sail plane. Because if we didn't have anything going into the water, we'd effectively just blow sideways. It's acting more or less like a wing, but down in the water, it's giving us drive forward, and that's how a sailboat is able to go upwind and sail at about 45 degrees to the wind. Now if you're trying to get to a mark that's upwind, like if we're racing, then we need to be able to tack. And what we do is we sail through the eye of the wind, or through where the wind is coming from, and the sails or the wings set on the other side. And we do that a number of times up a beat, and that's how we get to a fixed point that looks as though it's directly into the wind. It's a slower point of sail, you're effectively trying to get upwind, so it's a little bit like trying to hike up a hill. The excitement comes when you get upwind and that's when the reward comes. When you go around the top mark, you get to free off the sails a little bit, when the speed picks up and away you go. 